You're now aboard Marine Corps Crew Depot, Paris Island, South Carolina. You have taken the first step to becoming a member of the world's finest fighting force, the United States Marine Corps. The Marine Corps' success depends upon teamwork. Therefore, teamwork will be an essential part of your training here at Paris Island. You will live, eat, sleep, and train as a team. The words I, me, or my will no longer be a part of your vocabulary. You will use words such as this recruit, that recruit, these recruits. Do you understand? Yes, sir! Tens of thousands of Marines have begun our standing service to our country on the very footprints in which you stand today. You will carry on that proud tradition. Do you understand? Yes, sir! What is going on guys? It's your boy Motivated Devil and I'm back with Marine Corps Mondays and I gotta say a big thank you to all you that, you know, almost a thousand views on the last week's uh, Marine Corps Mondays and that's the first time I've ever had a uh, commentary, just a regular commentary, something about myself. Uh, it's not, I, I guess it's not really a regular commentary because it's a new series, but I'm definitely going to keep it going. Almost a thousand views and it's all up to you. I mean, I gotta, it's all on you. I, I gotta thank you guys big time. Without you guys, that wouldn't be possible. So, I'm going to set the bar a little high on this video. If we can, guys, I want to try to hit 100 likes on this video. I'm not, I don't think I've had a commentary ever hit 100 likes. So, if we could make that happen, try to get 100 likes. If you want to share this video with a friend, you know, thinking about joining the Marines, or if you just know somebody, hey, just share the video. But we're going to jump right into it. So, last week, we talked about uh, where I spent my Christmas in boot camp. And if you guys missed that video, there'll be a link in the description. But we talked about, you know, Christmas in boot camp. And uh, somebody suggested that, hey, you should talk about, you know, what it's like, like, arriving on Paris Island when you first get there. So that is what we're going to talk about today. So what you're watching is a, this, I think this is Kill Confirmed. Yeah, it's Kill Confirmed on Studio, a.k.a. Firing Range, a.k.a. Motivated Devil's Bloodbath, because I'm about to go in. <laughs> but anyways, guys, so let's get right into it. All right, so Sunday morning, uh, December 12th, 2009. Uh, me and my buddy Bryce, we had to go, we uh, went up to the mall, which is our recruiter's depot, and we went up to the mall. Had to meet up there with our parents and everything. Had to say goodbye, you know, do all the do all the stuff that nobody you know wants to do. You don't want to ever say goodbye to your mom or your dad and your family for you know three months. So we all meet up there, and our recruiter he was like, "Hey, I'm gonna give you guys just you know a simple drug test just to make sure that I'm not sending you guys out there to look like complete dumbasses and make me look like a dumbass and fail a drug test when you get on the island and then you're screwed." So he gave us his drug test. Um, yes, I'll admit, yes, I have smoked marijuana in my life. You know, the, a lot of people has, a lot of people hasn't. Is it good? No. I got caught on the reload right there. But, you know, it's nothing to be proud of. It's nothing, you know, it's nothing that I'm, like, ashamed of or anything like that. You know, it's just young, dumb, and stupid. I've made some dumb mistakes. Everybody's done made dumb mistakes. So I wasn't really nervous, but, you know, I knew, yes, I have smoked marijuana. And on the other hand, though, my buddy, he was a little nervous, and... So we go back there, we take, you know, we go in the little bathroom, and we, we piss in the cups, come back out, sit on the leather couch, we're just sitting there, like, talking to our parents and everything, and uh, my recruiter comes out there, and he's like, hey, Bryce, come here, which he didn't say Bryce, he said his last name, but I'm not, I'm gonna keep that disclosed, but anyways, he said, Bryce, come here, so Bryce gets up, he goes back there, and he asks me, he's like, Bryce, have you been smoking marijuana? And, you know, Bryce instantly freezes up, and he's like, you know, no, no, sir, you know, and he's freaking out, because he failed, he actually failed the drug test. So here we are, like literally hours or uh, actually minutes away from pulling out of this mall to go to Paris Island, and uh, Bryce has failed his drug test. We didn't know what was going to happen. We didn't know if he's going to get to go, but thankfully the recruiter ended up letting him go, and somehow, some way, Bryce still ended up passing that drug test at Paris Island. How I don't know, but obviously the good Lord was looking over him. So when, you know, Bryce fails his drug test. And, you know, it's time for us to say goodbye. We're having to say goodbye to our parents, which is like the worst part. So we're saying goodbye. And, you know, we're loading up. It's like eight dudes in this hot, sweaty-ass van. And they take us, um, you know, they're taking us to MEPS, which is like a... We were staying at, like, this Hilton hotel, and we were going to stay there the entire night. And then the next morning, that same van... And that guy right there stole my counter UAV. I literally die five times after this happens, after this death, because I was so frustrated. Don't get frustrated. But anyways, because I died, like, five times. But anyways, back to the story. So... They take us, uh, we, you know, we're going down the road, and they take us to Golden Corral, and they pay for all of us to eat. They pay for us to go and, like, eat this nice buffet. It's, like, our last meal, and it's kind of eerie because it's, like, they're feeding us before, you know, it's, like, our last supper. So, we eat that, 
and then they take us to maps and we're staying in maps and we have to you know stay the night and me and Bryce we're like freaking out you're not supposed to be doing anything you're not supposed to have any kind of tobacco but me and Bryce like snuck out of like the hotel you know it's not we didn't really sneak out we could leave but you know we weren't supposed to leave past 10 because we had a curfew so anyways we sneak out and we go uh, to the gas station we buy a couple of black and miles and we're like sitting in the bathroom like Smoking black and miles like like a freight train, like freaking out, like oh, I wonder if this is gonna happen. And this, I wonder what's gonna happen. You know, we were just really nervous, trying to calm our nerves. I didn't, I don't even smoke black and miles. I don't, you know, I don't smoke. But back then, I just needed something. So the next morning, they wake us up, they feed us breakfast at the hotel. We all load up in that van again, and we're all headed, actually headed to South Carolina now. And on the way there, everybody's, you know, yeah, I'm not gonna be scared. This is, you know. All you guys are acting like girls. Y'all calm down. Y'all need to calm down. And you know, I was I wasn't scared, but then again, I knew like, hey, this is really isn't a joke. This is really happening. I'm really going to Paris Island. I'm really going to boot camp, and I'm really going to be a marine. So I was kind of scared, but then again, I was also excited. So here we are, pulling up, uh, getting close to South Carolina, and we're about two miles away from the gate. And all of a sudden, we see these blue lights and red lights everywhere, and there was actually a murder scene. Two miles away from the gate of Paris Island, some guy riding a bicycle had gotten shot right there in the middle of the street. And we seen him laying there like it just happened. We seen his body. Like it was fucking crazy because I'm like, oh my God, like we're going to Paris Island and we're seeing dead people on the side of the street. Like what the hell is going on down here? What are you guys doing in South Carolina? But man, we see that and then we come up on the gate and, uh, you know, our bus driver, he was like, hey, if any of you guys object, you know, I would like to pray for you guys before... You know, I take you guys out and drop you off. So it's this long straightaway, and like he's praying for us the whole way. And I'm just like, oh, I'm freaking out. Like, I'm like, oh my God, this is really happening. I'm really here. And that's exactly what you see at the beginning of the video. Those recruits right there were actually arriving on Paris Island. But, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please try to hit that like button and share it with a friend. It's your boy, Motivated Devil. Sipper Fidelis, out.